Last time we left off, Goku took Raditz away so they can have a talk so he doesn't scare his family, like, you know, away from the island. So after the two go far away, um, uh, not Goku goes to talk to Raditz, and Raditz explains that um, they and the other Saiyans are gathering up to attack the Galactic Emperor named Frieza, and that he's the reason why their planet and race got almost extinct. And Goku, uh, being way more rational and smarter, keeps a calm face, but does slightly raise his power level for a second, which makes Raditz scouter crack a bit. This scares Raditz and makes him wonder how strong his little brother is. Goku then gets to the point and says that he will help, but they will do it in his terms. He then also gets his face close to the scouter and says, I hope you guys can hear this. Come to Earth, I have a plan. He's obviously talking to Vegeta and Nappa. He's guessing that the scouter works as a transmission or a contacting sort of device as well. And that was kind of a gamble because he could have been talking to Frieza's men, but either way, he basically just de declared war on Frieza, which is what he was planning to do. But his assumption was actually right, and Vegeta and Nappa actually did hear him. He then grabs and crushes the scouter as soon as he does this and explains why he did it because, well, Frieza's men could have been listening, so this is more safe. And he then um, takes Raditz back to the island and tells everyone that it's okay. And of course, they're still scared, but trust Goku. After this incident, Goku's family leave early uh, with Goku and Raditz and Gohan flying while Boma uses her machine. And they arrive at Capsule Corp and Goku goes to his training area with Raditz and they start talking more and clarifying things and they come to an agreement. Then Goku taps Raditz on the shoulder, welcoming him officially, but as he does this, he enters Raditz's key channel, which is what I'm going to be calling now, where he can alter people's power and stuff, but this time he entered Raditz's body unintentionally, and as soon as Goku experiences going into his body, he falls to his knees and is running out of like a bit of energy, and um, he's then taken to Bomo's lab, because, well, Raditz doesn't know what to do, and, um, after a few hours, Goku wakes up surrounded by Bulma, Gohan, and Raditz, and of course he tries to put it off as an accident, but Bulma with a frightening smile tells Raditz to take Gohan out of the house for a few, and Goku is then coerced into telling Bulma about his abilities. Goku thought that she would be mad, but she instead hugs him and tells him that if he ever lies about something like that again, she will kill him. And after this, Bulma helps Goku um, outside to see Raditz talking to Gohan, and then reveals his abilities and also reveals why Gohan is so strong and because well Gohan inherited some of his genes so he has a natural ability. Uh, after getting the gist of everything they start training the next day in the gravity room. Also Boma created a device for Goku not to get hurt um, while upping people's abilities. Of course he can do that to his body without any problem which is a, a device attached to his head similar to like Professor X in the X-Men but it has no X on the top, it's just like a helmet. And the three, uh, this helps him, you know, not pass out. The three train while obviously taking breaks because Goku wants to spend and bond time with his brother and with his family. So Goku doesn't uh, mention the room of space and time um, yet because he wants to protect the earth without the help of his mentor. And he is technically still like a kind of a guardian angel in a way and kind of at Kami's errands, but not really at the same time, because he has a family now. Goku also brings Gohan to, um, well, the Grandpa Gohan, his actual Grandpa Gohan, to Capsule Corp, so that Raditz can see who is the one that saved his little brother. And also, Raditz, um, Gohan, the Grandpa, um, talks to, well, his grandson, and he is amazed at the family that Goku has created. Raditz then gets some good training advice from Gohan and learns that no matter how strong he is, training is always effective. So I'm going to skip about one year and power levels, I'm going to see them right now. Goku is at one, uh, 8,010 at base form, but at full of power, he goes to around 10,000. And Raditz is 5,000 at full power and Gohan is uh, 300 about when he's just kind of base and when he goes rage it ups to 500. Krillin and the others are still um, the same power and have trained separately. 
Um, when it was two weeks before the battle against the Saiyans happened, Goku went out to tell Krillin, who then told Tien and Shao and Goku also went to tell Yamcha himself as well. The day of the fight, everyone meets up um, at Goku's house and catch up, you know, have some drinks, hang out like they used to. And of course, um, Tien and Yamcha are suspicious of Raditz because he did try to kill everyone, but trust Goku. Also, uh, on the other hand, everyone is surprised at how strong Gohan has gotten, and they are, well, they're just amazed. And when they're at Goku's house, they feel two strong power levels headed for Earth, and it's completely, you can't, you can't not notice it, and they just feel that power. The fighters uh, head uh, to the city where Vegeta and Nappa have destroyed everything, and um, the two walk out of the dust created by the huge explosion, and... Well, everyone is just kind of pissed right now, and they're they're ready to go. Goku then says, I'm guessing you're Vegeta, and then Goku tells the two what his plan is to defeat Frieza. He gets caught off by Nappa, who rushes, who rushes at Goku, to, only to be punched in the gut and kicked in the cheek, and skips uh, to the other side of the, fan, uh, the city. Sorry, Goku says, now will you listen to me? Vegeta then instead goes on about rambling, pointing out that he's an alien warrior and that he should have more pride as a Saiyan. Everyone is shocked because Goku still didn't tell them he was from another planet. Weird. And Nappa then gets up vying for revenge against Goku before getting stopped by Vegeta who wants to fight Goku himself. Goku then says to the other guys, I'm gonna go fight him. You guys should take care of this bulky guy. That's when Piccolo comes out of nowhere, which surprises everyone, but he wants to fight the Saiyans, so they let him in for this once. Goku and Vegeta head off to fight in the different landscape, as the same as the anime, and Goku goes into his mindscape as they land and makes a few preparations by hardening his body way higher to unbelievable standards, and is not even nearing his limit of how high he can increase it yet, but is, you know, kind of testing out things, because he is still a Saiyan, and he likes to make things hard for himself so he can grow more and he also tweaked his reaction speed which he never really had the need to do until now because vegeta is extremely strong right now and they start uh the fight which is um shaking everything goku is fighting as a at a diff disadvantage but makes up for it with his martial arts and his events reaction time vegeta getting really annoyed that goku is evading um everything and and just kicks it into second gear and beats down on Goku, sending him to mountains. Goku gets up with scrapes and bruises and prepares for Vegeta's onslaught. And since he doesn't have the Kaioken, he instead decides to up his strength and hardening more because it has also been subtly annoying Vegeta. He um, launches back at Vegeta, missing punches, but he isn't really tired. His body just hurts, and Vegeta's fingers are actually getting bloody and bones kind of breaking, which gives Goku a chance to do the same combo as in the original when he used the Kao Ken, Kao Ken, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, well, this time he's not using the Kao Ken, it's just pure strength and no amplifications. This angers Vegeta, and he flies off into the air preparing the Gallic Gun while Goku powers up a Kamehameha. They fire at each other and they start a beam struggle and Goku is losing before removing, um, um, going like, you know, into his mindscape and upping his regeneration. This heals him slightly and gives him a Zenkai boost and boosts his power level up to around 2000. Well, not 2000, I'll say 1000, um, uh, what's it called? 1800 because I don't want to make it way too easy and he and Vegeta give a final scream which causes a huge explosion between their beams and breaking everything in the landscape out of the dust covering everything the Vegeta, the you know the dust is still there and they both stand up um, using his key sensing Goku sneaks behind Vegeta and cuts his tail off with the keyblade and Vegeta then screams in pain and is then kicked in the back by Goku and of course, Vegeta can't really sense Ki. He only he needs a scouter to do that. He hasn't learned it yet. And Vegeta says, "I can't believe you cut off my tear, my tail. What the hell is wrong with me?" <laughs> Goku says, um, "Well, yeah, of course I did. I might be a Saiyan, but right now I'm being a father." And since they're both out of energy, they rush at each other using nothing but physical strength. And Goku gets the upper hand due to his martial arts and not only using Ki and raw saying strength and they sort of end up fighting like a, a 
power struggle, sort of like Naruto and Sasuke, being kind of sluggish but holding off until one of them falls down. After fighting for a while, they both collapse and uh, pass out. After a few hours later, Goku wakes up in a hospital bed and Gohan is crying and then Goku gets up and says, Oh, Gohan, you're safe. Boma then wakes up and hugs him and starts crying as well and they just kind of get this family moment, you know. And um, Goku um, gets help from Boma and Gohan and they head out to the hallway and see Tia and Raditz and Krillin only. Goku realized that the others were killed and well that including um, Piccolo as well just because they fill him in on the fact that they killed Nappa. Actually, I'm going to keep Piccolo. Piccolo wouldn't die like that. And the fact that they killed Nappa, but at the sake of losing two, well, well one, of, one of the people. Well, two people actually, yeah, two people. Yamcha is still dead. Goku then says, guys, sorry, but we need to revive the Saiyans back along with our friends. Everyone, of course, disagrees. Then Tien punches Goku in the face due to the fact that Xiao Tzu died during this. And that was like his brother and like brother in arms. And they've been together since the beginning. Um, Tien then gets slapped by Boma, who was mad because he punched Goku while he was recovering. I mean, anybody would do that. And then everyone calms down as Goku and Raditz. Raditz is still alive, by the way. Explains that um, Frieza, about Frieza and that he might attack the Earth. They only agree because of the bigger picture and not because they want to actually see the Saiyans. That's stupid. And because, you know, they just want to get things over with and they can bring back everyone else because the other ones didn't get killed in the other timeline because Goku took care of things pretty easily back then. Um, after um, just like resting for a day, Goku gets a huge Zenkai boost, which actually does bring him to 2000 something at base power. And then him and Raditz and the others go prepare uh, to get the Dragon Balls. That's where I'm leaving it off. And I hope you guys like this um, third part. Um, sorry about the background noise like usual. Um, hopefully I get a better mic soon so people can stop interrupting me. So um, yeah, um, I hope you guys like this. Subscribe, share, turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.